Hey guys, it's Crystal. I'm back with another DIY. Finally getting to share um, how I updated my kitchen table. It was pretty bad. Um, I've had it for about eight years, I think, and the top of it was just getting worse and worse. So I finally decided to redo it. And so if you guys are interested in seeing how I did that, please keep watching. So here's the before. I did sand all the areas that were pretty bad and bubbling up. Um, I went ahead and used a wood glue to cover those bubbled areas. It's just like a temporary fix. This is something I've seen on YouTube. I'm not an expert, so if you want to see how to really get rid of the bubbles, I would look elsewhere. But this is what I did. Next, I took the reticket kit it is basically a paint and then you can stain right over it so this is what the paint color looks like first this is the first coat of paint I wanted to show you the comparison on both sides I did prepare the table before painting like cleaning and sanding and taping it up Here is a second coat. Here is a third coat on the left side and the first coat on the right side. For the comparison, I ended up doing four coats total of the paint. And if you're wondering why I'm doing it inside, there is no smell of this paint at all. So you definitely can work inside with the paint. Staining wise, you will have to go outside. Here's the fourth and final coats for both of them. It looks really nice. I like the way it turned out and the drying time in between these was pretty fast and I did not have to sand in between it as well. So pretty good paint. I highly recommend the kit. So I basically took my table apart so that way I can stain it outside. I'm just using uh, the stain that came with the kit. Uh, it's a small can and it just said the reticket Retique It Stain Kit in Kona. So that's what I'm using. And I'm just basically using a cloth to go back and forth and doing long strokes um, as I lay down the stain and just working really fast. Not trying to be too heavy on the amount of stain that I put on the cloth. I am outside doing this just because the stain does have a very potent odor to it so you want to work outside or in a well ventilated area. Here is the first coat of stain on both of them. I really like the way it turned out. I just gotta fix this one area because I don't like the way that came out, but I know I can fix it, so not a big deal. It's a lot better than what it used to look like, so I'm happy so far with the turnout. The Retique staining kit is pretty good. I highly recommend it, guys. Highly recommend it. I decided to go ahead and do two um, coats of the stain just for a more darker finish. I did not sand in between as well. I just made sure that the first coat was 
dried completely. I think the staining took me about a day because I did the first coat in the morning and then when I came back from work I did the second coat. And that's pretty much it for the staining portion. Using some Minwax polyurethane. I've had this one for a while, so I'm mixing it pretty well with some sticks. And I'm going to go ahead and use a foam brush and see how that turns out. So I've done three coats of the Minwax polyurethane already. I'm going to take off the tape from the bottom that I did so that way I can paint the white portion right here and do the final coat of polyurethane on that one. I'm not going to do too much coverage on there because it's on the side of the table. Um, so I'm not too worried about that part. I'm more worried about the top. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to use the same chalk paint that I used for the legs on this part of the table. So it shouldn't take me long at all. I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum chalked paint <laughs> and my chalk brush that I've used. I'm going to use my chalk brush that I got from Michael's, I believe. First layer of chalk paint. I'll probably do maybe two more. It's drying pretty quickly, so. So the top layers are the second coats. This is the first coat right here so you can see the difference. Definitely like the other coats. I will distress it in a little bit. And the distressing like on the edging right here more so than like on the flat surfaces. I just kind of just want to distress it more so there than the flat surfaces. I don't know. I just feel like it'll look better. The good thing about chalk is you can pretty much play around with how you want to distress it, so that's what I'm going to go for for today. So yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, again, the kit that I purchased was really good. Um, I will link it down below so that way if you're interested in using it also, um, you can check out that link for it to purchase it. I also did my kitchen chairs that came with the table because they were in bad shape. So I repainted them. I um, put new seats on them. So if you're interested to see how I did that, please check that video out. Um, it will be coming out probably sometime after this um, video so go check it out if you're interested in seeing how those came out which I'm very happy with those as well um, so yeah that's it for today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, please hit the bell notification so that way you know um, when my videos are posted and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel I try and do a lot of DIYs on here uh, when I can and sometimes some reviews and unboxings of some subscription um, boxes that I get. So if you're interested in seeing those, please subscribe down below. And that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye.